fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old boy. We're riding the Spanish Flats. The danger on the trail ahead! Hail Silver! The wild border town of Spanish Flats marked almost the exact center of a district extending for hundreds of miles in every direction that lay under the complete domination of a group of organized gangs. Smugglers crossed and recrossed the Rio Grande at will. Watch out for quicksand! Johnny, keep the mules moving! Come on, fellas! Let's finish this trip for Sullivan! Rustlers cleared the range of cattle. Highwaymen roamed every trail. This is the hole of Stop that state. Hold that horse to the left. Now. All right, boys, give it to him. The reign of terror demoralized not only the honest citizens of the district, but the forces of law as well. Resistance was beaten down with such brutal disregard for human rights that when the first attempts ended in tragic failure, few were left to carry on the fight. Resignation seemed the safer course. Go gunning for them fellas? Not on your life. Yesterday they shut down Daniels just for saying he ought to be jailed. They killed Mason too. We ain't got a chance. They strung up town for talking vigilante. Run them out of the county. Boys, I'm playing safe. They can do what they please. I ain't lifting a hand. <laughs> At last, only one man remained who dared to raise his voice against the government by cutthroats and thieves. This man was Graham, the rancher. Men, we can't let this condition continue. We must do something. Our homes are plundered. Our stock is stolen. The life of every one of us is placed in danger because without law we can have no security. And who makes the law? We do. You and I. 
by standing up for justice and returning blow for blow whenever outlaws think they can rule by force and bloodshed. Nothing we can do it. You're not going to get drilled. Neither am I. You mean you won't fight back? You won't defend your lives and your property and your honest rights? Not me. I've had my lesson. I'll look what they've done to Baxter. And if they're going to behave like a pack of cowards, I'll fight them alone. Yes, and I'll fight them to the finish, too. I'm not afraid. Do what you please. I'll battle those murdering snakes to... Oh. Who fired them choppers? Wouldn't see him. He got away. You knew Graham would get it. Hey, what happens when you talk like that? You bad hurt, Graham. You bad hurt. No, it's just a scratch. I... I'll be all right. Just give me a hand. <laughs> Many days' journey from Spanish Flats and almost a month later, two men were camped where a small spring bubbled from the rocky wall of a narrow canyon. Nearby grazed a pair of magnificent stallions, one a paint, the other with a coat of the purest white. Abruptly, a dog bayed in the distance. One of the men stood suddenly tense, listening. He was tall, broad-shouldered, and wore a mask that covered the upper half of his face. In a moment, closer this time, the sound came again. And the masked man turned quickly to his Indian companion. Tell her, that dog. Well, that sounds like... It belonged in Arizona Lawson. It must. Oh, wait. There's a horse. Huh? You hear it? Heading straight here. Huh? Oh, wait a moment. We should come in sight in a second. And we'll see if it's Arizona or not. Him close. Yes. Tell it is Arizona. It's him all right. Hello there. Hi, masked man. Hi. Hi. Come ahead. Oh, oh, there. Oh, 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 Quiet, boy. Quiet. Quit that yapping, won't you? Arizona, we haven't seen you for months. It's been a long time. How are you, Tano? <laughs> Me glad to see you. Ain't no happier about it than I am to find you. You know, I've been looking for you two armies for most a month. Looking for us? Just about everywhere. Why? Friend, you know where Spanish Flats is? Ah, that near border. We know the place, Arizona. It's not far from the mission of our friend, the Padre. No a rancher near there by the name of Graham? No. Well, he sent me. For us? Yeah. Arizona, I'm afraid I don't understand. Won't take long to explain. Yes? There's the Dickens to pay back there, Mask Man. Graham wants you, and he wants you bad. <laughs> Grand country near Spanish Flats was a land of vast canyons, towering hills, and lonely plateaus where a horseman might ride for days without sighting another human being. It was this fact above all others that accounted for the outlaws' success. No posse could hope to find them in such a wilderness. Into this region late one evening came a solitary rider, guiding his mount down a winding trail that led into the huge basin of granite. When at last, deep in shadows, the trail leveled off, he drew his mount to a halt. Whoa, oh, boy. Whoa. Oh. There he paused for a moment, then gave a low call. Gunner. Oh, Gunner. You there? That's you, Stubb? Yeah. Anybody with you? Uh-uh. Come on, then. Get up. Get up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. What's up? The boss sent me. Where's the boys? Sleeping. You want them? No. This is a job just for you. They ain't even to know about it. Yeah? You ought to ride to Graham's place before morning. Yeah, what for? There's three gents riding for Graham's right now. What do you want me to do? Just hold your horses, Gunner. I'll tell you what it's all about. Them three gents mean trouble. Who are they? One's a redskin. Oh. One's a young fella that grubs out a living hunting wolves and collecting the bounty on him. He travels with a dog. Maybe you've seen him around. His handle's Arizona Lawson. Uh-huh, I've run across him. And the third one? Uh, boss said I'd better not tell you that. Well, uh, why not? <laughs> he said if you knew, maybe you uh, wouldn't have the nerve for the job. I wouldn't? Well, that's what he said. Why, oh, blast his hide. There ain't a man alive I'm scared of. Stubb, you tell me that hombre's name. Can't, that's all. Now, you look here, Stubb. Gunner, you ought to know by this time that when the boss gives an order, it ain't safe to go again it. And ain't no use yelling at me. I ain't gonna talk. As if things wasn't bad enough anyhow. 
What do you mean by that? I guess you know. You getting restless? Wouldn't you be if you was me? No, I don't reckon I would. Yeah, sure, it's all right for you. You know who you're taking orders from. But how about the rest of us? How long has it been since we got organized? About a year. A year, yeah. A year of taking orders from a fellow I don't know and ain't never seen. And now on top of that, I ain't to know who this other gent is. Stub, I'm getting good and tired of this setup, and I can tell you I ain't the only one either. Plenty of the others feel just like I do. Then they're fools. Why? Ain't things working out just about perfect? Ain't we got this part of the country just when we want it? You know any place else you could go without having to dodge the law half the time? A way you can get half the cash you've made working for the boss? That's just it. What is? For every dollar we put in our pockets, the boss gets five. He's earned them. You always pay more for brains than you do for guns. I suppose the rest of us are just idiots. <laughs> well, compared to him, you are. Boy, you now don't... take it easy, Gunner. You know I don't go running back to the boss with everything I hear you fellas say. But that don't mean you can go shooting off your mouth just anyhow. And besides... Well? Gunner... When you talk like that, you're getting set to spoil things. You know just as well as I do that you ain't really got anything to kick about. I got plenty to... go on telling yourself you have, and first thing you know, you'll be believing it. (laughs) And Bluey, we'll all be done for. (laughs) Shucks, fella, you know I'm right. Now that you've blowed off some steam, you figure you can go ahead and do what the boss wants? Well, I guess. I got a grain, son, but... Keep hid... Uh-huh. Wait till those three gents come out again, then follow them. Where? To wherever they go. Reckon they won't ride any further. It'll take them to find a good place to camp. And when they've made camp? That's all. Huh? Just come back here and wait. I'll come back again tomorrow night. They can tell me where the camp is. Grames brought them three gents here on account of us? Yeah. But just the same, I ain't to drill them? That's right. Stub, that sounds loco to me. <laughs> I thought it might. And what do you have? You ain't never to ask why. When you get an order, you're just to do it, savvy? Yeah. You'd better get saddled. Sure. Adios. Get up, boy. Get up. Grim, Tato and Arizona and I rode day and night to get here. Arizona's told me enough of the situation, so I know it's serious. If you want to fight these outlaws... I do. Then we'll help you in every way that we can. But we can't work blind... We'll need more information. If you can give it to us, talk. And I, I tell you, Mr. Graham, if you give this mass gen anything to work on at all, and all you'll have to do is just sit back and watch the fur fly. I'll tell you what I can. Go on. No one knows the identity of the man at the head of this outlaw organization. Arizona said that. But whoever he is, Lone Ranger, he's a man that even you should fear. Yes? He's shrewd. Well, I took that for granted. He's organized the criminals under him into at least a half a dozen bands, each with its own captain and each with his own specialty. Specialty? One gang steals cattle. Oh. Another carries out holdups. Still another engages only in smuggling. You see? I do. From what I've been able to learn, not even the crooks who work for him knows his identity. I assume he has a go-between who transmits orders and collects his share of the loot. You know this go-between? No. Then... But Lone Ranger, there's something I do know. And that? The name of every leader of every gang that crook employs. Redskin, all right. In Arizona with that dog is. What the? That third hombre's mask. And that horse. Thunderation. I never seen a horse to compare with that one before in all my born days. All right, fella. Here's where you and me follow. Stop. Hey. So, Wait. How'd you know where I was? You had to be here. It's the only place you can get a good look without being seen. What do you want? Gunner, your orders are changed. Eh? Follow them like I told you before. Uh-huh. But when you see your chance, plug that masked man and shoot to kill. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes... Please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. Hang on, Toto. When Arizona had reached the level of the cave, he braced himself, lowered a hand, and pulled Toto up after him. Come on, Toto. I got a good hold. Just a little more. You're almost there. Be all right. Uh, Made it. Uh, Better get our breath. Uh, Gosh, it's dark in there. Can't see a thing. We we make light. Uh huh. I got matches. That a lamp? Huh? How'd that get here? Padre, bring it. Oh, I'll fix it. You ready to look around? Huh? Me ready. Just a second. Yeah. Now we got something to see by. Come on. Where them make camp? Where well, they made their campfires. Ah. But ain't a thing in here. Why, everything's gone. Blankets, grub. Even them medicines that Padre brought along are gone. That heap strange. And no message. No sign, nothing. No. There's the end of the cave. Me see it. Tonto, you recollect just before we climbed up here what I said? That maybe we wouldn't want to find out what we was likely to in this cave? Uh Uh-huh. I was right. Everything gone. No no message. Tonto, we found out the last thing I ever wanted to know. Masked man in heap big danger. Maybe worse, Tonto. Oh. He'd have left some message if he'd gone willingly, wouldn't he? Tonto, maybe this time, them crooks really done it. Maybe, maybe we'll never see the masked man again. Tonto and Arizona, when they had descended again from the cave and reached the valley floor, searched in all directions for a clue to the disappearance of the Lone Ranger and the Padre, but found nothing. When they rode on again, they did so in silence, each preoccupied with his own thoughts. Tonto's face, apparently expressionless, only served as a mask for emotions of rage and despair. Arizona's features were set in a scowl, but when the wolf hunter glanced at his companion, he forgot his own grief to offer comfort to the other. Tonto, I know what you're thinking. I guess I feel pretty much the same as you. But you can't go blaming yourself for this. If anybody's to blame, it's me. Um, me tell mask friend live. Outlaw find him. You wouldn't have said nothing if I hadn't persuaded you to, though. Me break promise. Me tell. We don't even know that breaking our promise had anything to do with this. Maybe, well, maybe Laramie or some of the rest of that gang got scouting around and... Laramie. Tano, I'll bet he's the one. What you mean? Ain't he been in charge of the smuggling for the gang? Ain't he the one that knows all this country here along the Rio best? Uh Uh-huh. Then who'd be more likely to find the masked man than he would? You're right. And that means what we was talking about before is decided for us. What that? Remember when I said I didn't know which one we ought to get after first? Laramie or that Pedro Mendoza? Uh Uh-huh. Well, we're hunting up Laramie. I don't care whether Mendoza works with Laramie or not. If he's the gent that found the masked man, he's the gent I aim to settle with first. That good. He'll pay, Tonno. Uh-huh. And by thunder, I'm going to have the pleasure of helping to make him pay. What's that? Them shots. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, Oscar, oh. Oh. Where, where'd they come from? Who fired them? Them long way off. Maybe. There they are again. And this time, I know which way they come from. Them come from that way. Back on the north side of the river. Uh-huh. Whoever fired them shots, Tonto, he's in trouble. Come on. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get up, fella. Come on, Wolf. Get up. Get up. Urging their mounts to their greatest speed, the two men recrossed the Rio and raced in the direction of the canyon from which the gunshots had seemed to come. Just before reaching the canyon itself, they changed their course, circling to gain the crest of a hill that would reveal all that lay below. Reaching the top, once more they drew their mounts to a halt. Oh, 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 Farther down the valley there. See that one hombre that's all alone? Look. Now he's jumping from the saddle and running for them rocks. Uh. He's throwing lead at them other gents now. Ain't there something familiar about that fella, Tonto? Ain't we seen him someplace afore? Mm, wait. That sheriff. What? Mm, that him, all right. 
You look. Well, well, golly, if it ain't. With all them fellas after him. Now what kind of a hole he got himself in? I uh, mean, not know. Wish some other fellas are spread out more, so as we could get a good look at them. I'd give a heap to know who they are. They're edging towards the place where the sheriff's hiding. Maybe them rush, Sheriff. That's just what they're getting set to do. Tonto, maybe I'm wrong, but you know what I think? What that? Didn't you tell me when you seen the sheriff, he said as how he was going after Laramie, and he didn't need nobody's help? Ah, uh-huh. that's what him say, all right. Well, I just got a hunch he's found Laramie, and wishes now he hadn't. You think Laramie down there? I could be wrong, Tonto, but I'll bet plenty I ain't. Me get him. Hey, hold on. Him tell her get masked, man. Me fix him. Oh, Tonto, wait. You can't just go right into that bunch. Wait till we figure out a way to go at this. They'll have you where they've got the sheriff. Hey, stop. You let Tonto go. Me fix him. Hey, get him up, Skull. Come back here, you crazy galoot. Come back. Get him up. Get him up, fella. Get him up. Gone clean loco because he thinks Larry me done for the mask man. Well, I guess I'm loco too because I'm following right along. Get up. Get up, boy. Whoa. Come on. <laughs> Plunging like a thunderbolt from the hill to the canyon bed, Tonto sent Scout driving for the band of dismounted gunmen who were slowly closing in on the sheriff. Get him up, Scout! Get him up, Get him up fellow! Get him up, boy! Get him up! Arizona, shouting wildly to his own flying mount, followed not far behind. And the outlaws, turning at the sound of the two speeding horses, were too astonished by their arrival to do more than give way and divide before the onrush. But before Tonto and Arizona could check the flight of their mounts, they found they'd been carried beyond the gunmen that reached the place where the sheriff had taken refuge. Whoa, Scout! Hope, fella! Hope! 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 Hey, boy, hope! Hey, hope! Hey, hope! Hey, there! Hey, Arizona! Get back here with me! Get the cover! Right! Me go back! Oh, no, you don't! Once going crazy like that's enough! Me get killer! Doggone it, Tonto! You got away with it the first time because he didn't know you was coming! But can't you see you'd never have a chance a second time? They're just ready and waiting for you. Now you come on. Me right. You set on that? Huh? Then I reckon here's where I get mine, Tonto. Let's go. You stay back. Nothing doing. You go, I go. You get killed. That's my privilege as much as yours, ain't it? You will not stay back. If you ride, not in your tin type. Then come. Huh? We take cover. With the sheriff? Now you're talking. And if we don't hustle, we'll catch lead poisoning. Get up, fella. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, Scout, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Quick, get back here with me. We're with you, Sheriff. Send the horses on back. You go, Scout. Get him up, boy. Why in thunder you take so long making up your minds to come the rest of the way? I thought them skunks was going to get you. Not Laramie, fella. It's him all right. Him get masked, man. You mean this time he really done for the Lone Ranger? Looks kind of like it, Sheriff. Why, blast their low down means you hide. Here they come. Let them have it. The first attack of the outlaws was beaten off, and the second, and the third. Given a breathing space, the three trapped men discussed their situation. Sheriff, while we got a little time, suppose you explain how you got in this fix, huh? Just from getting mad and being a stubborn idiot. Yeah? Got a letter from Captain Blake of the Texas Rangers giving me the dickens. Then a feller back in town said I hadn't gone after Laramie because I was yeller. He was telling the truth, so that's why I got mad. <laughs> Wouldn't listen to nobody. <laughs> Just plain seen red. I'd heard it hinted Larry may be over this well and little deal with Mendoza, so I'm going to come here alone. Which same is what I get for refusing help. And now the three of us are in for it. And looks it. Where, Mendoza? I don't know. He usually has some half-breeds trailing along with him, but I ain't seen hiding a hair of them. Only Larry may there. That wouldn't be them, would it? Huh? Where? Just entering the canyon, heading for Laramie's bunch. My golly, I think... Thunderation it is. Not bad. Bad. <laughs> Just means almost double the number of Guinness there was, that's all. We didn't have a chance of four. Now we ain't got half that many. <laughs> well, all we can do is sell out for plenty and give them all we got when they come again. Wait, I... hold it. What that? Them two gangs don't look so friendly to me. Sheriff, Tonto, they're going for their gun. Uh-huh. Well, I'll be... Make of it, I don't give a hoot. All I know is that fight was just made to order for us. Uh, them not watch. Too busy. Ain't got time for nobody but each other. Let's circle around and get closer. You think that... Sheriff, I think when them two bunches get through battling, won't either one of them win. We will. Come on. Look there. That breed winged Laramie, by golly. If we don't butt in pretty soon, there won't be enough left of them to take prisoners. Sheriff, you circle father there to the left. What do you got in mind? Tonto can circle to the right. I'll stay here. When I yell, all of us throw down at him at once. Ah, all right. 
I will have them where if they don't surrender, we can blast them to glory. Hurry up now. I'll count to five. That'll give you time. Uh, I'm Miko. I'm on my way. Golly. Whatever them gents are fighting about, they're sure mad. Just look at them go. It. Wow. See that one fella tip over. And that little gent, fighting like a wildcat. Uh, where's the sheriff and Tonto? There's Tonto. He's all set. Yeah, and the sheriff is too. Well, here's for it. Drop them guns and start to reach in, gents, or you can say goodbye to living right now. You hombres heist them. Drop them. Uh, they sneak up on us. Got us covered. The engine's got our horses blocked off. Let them have it. No, you don't. Oh. Next man to try that gets worse. Come on, Tano. And them, Sheriff. Take their guns. Yeah, you birds. Let loose of those. I don't shoot. I'll reach it. They're the guns. Uh, them not make trouble now. <laughs> Got the whole kit and caboodle of them. Bloody you are one great fool. If you do not try to cheat me, this thing is going to happen. Oh, my arm. I didn't cheat you, Pedro. How many times do I have to tell you? I sent you that cash by clam. Clam? Then why you not say so? Well, didn't I try to when you went for your guns? Yeah, blow. It was not clam I see. It was a mask, man. Oh, yes, I think the senor with a mask come from you. He say you no bring cash. That you keep money for yourself. That you think me a big coward would not dare to ask for the cash. A masked man told you that? See. Si. And you thought I sent him? See, si, see. Si. Well, of course. That's enough of that, you two. Line up with your pard so I can search you good before we start for the calaboose. Tonto, you hear that? Ah, uh, me here. A masked man. Got these two outfits to scrap and tricked him to save our lives. That the Lone Ranger. Living and raising Ned with crooks. Uh. Tonto, with him riding again, there ain't nothing can stop us. Sheriff, put these coyotes on their horses and let's get going. Mount you, polecats. I'm aching to get at the rest of their parts. <laughs> Who can beat us now? The Lone Ranger's on our side. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.